Welcome to our guide on installing an EMS overflow kit. To complete the kit, you will need the following items. A tape measure, a permanent marker, a straight edge, an electric drill, various clamps or duct tape, and a diamond tip glass hole saw. A 60 millimeter bit is used for the kits with one inch drains, or a 75 millimeter bit is used for the kit with one and a half inch drains. For this demonstration, we are installing our 24 inch overflow with one inch drains on an Aquion 40 gallon breeder. However, these kits are designed to work with both rimmed and rimless tanks of all sizes. Be aware that our kits normally have solid black internal boxes and dark tinted rear boxes. For this demonstration, we built an overflow out of clear acrylic to better show the installation. The first step in most installations is picking which side of the tank you want to use as the display side. With our tanks, you can see there is an unsightly misalignment of the panels, so we will be using that as the back of our tank. Measure the total length of the tank on the glass, not the trim. Divide that in half and mark the center of your tank and draw a straight vertical line using your straight edge. On a rim tank, line your drilling template inside of the tank with the line marking the center of your tank. The top of the template corresponds with the top of the internal box. The etchings on the template correspond with where the weirs will be once mounted. If they are below the trim of the tank, more than likely you will be able to see the water line. Readjust it as close to the inner lip of the trim as possible without interfering with any braces. Mark the level lines on both sides of the template and draw a line connecting them with your straight edge. Remove the template and lay the tank face down on cardboard or some other surface that will not scratch the front of your tank. Using two C-clamps, place the template on the outside of the tank upside down so that it lays flat and does not interfere with the tank's trim. Make sure the template is secure and that the drill is the proper size. From this point forward, we cannot emphasize enough the use of quality safety glasses. A tiny shard of glass embedded in your eye will most definitely ruin your weekend. Our preferred method for lubricating the bit is with a steady stream of water. Using a clip, secure the water hose to the top of the tank, aiming it at the location you want to drill your first hole. Turn the water on so that a small stream is flushing over the location. It does not need to be on full blast. You just need enough to lubricate the area well. Holding the drill perfectly perpendicular to the tank, place the bit flat inside the template and slowly start the drill. Do not apply any extra pressure. The weight of the drill is sufficient to cut the hole. Continue to drill through the glass until the bit has cut completely through around the tank. It is nerve-wracking the first time you do it, but is extremely easy to do. Just use light pressure and take your time. Repeat the task for the other side. If you do not have C-clamps, duct tape can be substituted, liberally taping the template to the tank when it is still dry. The piece of wood shown is not required, but we do recommend it. It does several things. It keeps the clamp from scratching the tank. It keeps the scrap piece of glass from dropping and possibly cracking or scratching the front panel of your tank. Finally, it secures the back of the glass and from our experience gives a better hole finish by holding the scrap piece of glass until the bit has cleanly cut through it. The side of the tank you start drilling from almost always has the cleanest edge. Because the gasket outside the tank between the glass and the external box is the one that needs to be watertight, we recommend always drilling from outside the tank for this application. Once you have cleaned up the tank, you will want to add your background to the tank. We recommend masking off the holes and gasket area, then spray painting the tank. After the paint is dried, turn the tank right side up and put two gaskets on the internal box. On the one inch kits, all four gaskets are the same, but for the one and a half inch drain kits, put the smaller two gaskets on the internal box and slide the bulkheads through the holes in the tank. Put the remaining two gaskets on the bulkheads and slide the external box over the bulkheads. Install the two nuts hand tight. Using the closed inner wrench, snug the nuts down. There is no need to tighten them as tight as you can get them. We recommend only using two fingers on the wrench to ensure you don't over tighten and damage the bulkheads. That is it. You have completed the installation of your EMS overflow kit. We recommend using the Bean Animal style drain system utilizing a full siphon, open channel, and emergency drain. We also recommend that you use clamps to hold and support the drain lines coming off the overflow. This relieves stress on the box, bulkheads, and the glass. If you have any further questions regarding this or any of our other products, do not hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.